sure you hit your um, share button if you're in here with me tonight. Let's share this. Let's talk about it. I got a few scriptures I'm going to go to. It ain't going to be no particular scripture, but I'm going to go to several of them tonight just to show y'all some context of what the Bible has to say about this. Let me get this pulled over to the trim page and then I'll be ready to rock and roll with y'all. Uh-oh. Let's get this put on. Give me one second. And then I am about to come in here with y'all. Let's get over here and get some text now. Let's see where we're going here. We're going right here. Let me cut the music out so we don't have that in the background. Let's get over in here. All right, so y'all seen our title, the so-called friends. So-called friends. So check this out. Let's go through some scriptures um, in the Bible and look at some things that took place here. Um, I was in getting myself ready, you know, prepping up stuff, getting out. Uh, you know, cutting onions and all this little type of stuff, and just really thinking about some things. You know, I, I'm, I'm a thinker. I am a thinker. And so I was like, okay, then I'll pull a nightcap tonight, but let's talk about this right here. Let me go to Psalms 41. Um, Psalms 41. That's the first place I'm going to go, to Psalms 41, and let's talk about so-called friends. And let me show y'all, um, you know, show y'all some text in the scripture, because a lot of times we, you know, uh, we tend to, when something Excuse me, when something is negative, we tend to think it's not in the Bible. And, you know, unfortunately, because we, you know, the things that we have been taught and things that have been, you know, programmed or conditioned or traditionalized in our head, you know, like for instance, people think that, you know, when you get saved, that that means everything is all beautiful and lovely and, and man, it's far from that. You know, that's really like when things start really going, you know, in a place because it's got to, Get, you know, you've got to become saved. you got to become into the Christ-like person. So things just start getting all rough and tough for you. So it's all of that is just a myth. And so a lot of times people tend to think that, you know, because something is negative, that is not necessarily something that's in the Bible. But I want to show y'all tonight about um about so-called friends. I know if I could have, if I would have talked about betrayal or whatever, you automatically would have thought Judas, I'm quite sure, because that's like the, the number one person when we talk about betrayal, we think Judas, you know, it's like that what, what he did to Christ, and that is so true in the aspect, but let me let me talk a little bit tonight, you know, and go in just to share just a little bit, and show y'all in context of what the scripture says, Psalm 41, Psalms 41, and verse 9 says this right here, he says, um, he says, even my close friend in whom I trusted. Who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. Oh God, I need y'all to hear that. This one's gonna be good tonight. This is gonna be good. I'm talking about them so-called friends. Check this out right here now. Psalms 41 and verse 9. If y'all will pray for me, I promise you I'll walk some dogs in here tonight. I promise you I will. I'll walk some dogs, some cats, some bulls, and all in here. Y'all will just say a prayer for me. Ask the Lord to use me. Use me real good. All right, check it out. Psalms 41 and verse 9. This is what he says. Again, I want you to hear him. Even, he says, my friend. So it was some jokers against me, but Lord have mercy. My friend got caught up in it too. Even my friend in whom I trusted. Anybody been there besides me? Anybody been there besides me? Huh? Anybody been there besides me? What? Even my close friend in whom I trusted. I thought they were cool. Jesus. Who ate my bread, it says. He says, look, they sat down and ate with me. They hung out with me. They rolled with me, you know. You know, oh, man, we chilled together and also, he says, has lifted up his heel against me. I told y'all tonight we're going to talk about so-called friends. 
David said, has lifted up his heel against me. I thought we were cool. Thought everything was all right with us. They call themselves my ride or die, but they done lifted up their heel against me. Done lifted up their heel against me. Lord, have mercy. Anybody other than me ever had to deal with that? Anybody, have anybody other than me ever had to deal with a situation where, you know, you talk, you, 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 you with somebody, you know, you're, you cool with them or whatever the case may be. And then, you know, they let something flip the script and then they start flipping the script on everything you done said, you know, they start twisting up everything that came out your mind while you had conversations with them and all. This is Bible, y'all. Listen, I'm trying to help you about something called friends. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all were cool and you said, you know, A went with B, but then once something happened with them, they it was no, no longer A went with B. Now they're saying that B went with C. You know, they done changed up what was said to switch it up, you know, just to kind of fit it for them, you know, to, to make them look good. David, you know, he talking here. I got a few more scriptures I'm going to show you. He, he talking about some, some so-called friends. How many of us have them friends? <laughs> Ones we can depend on. <laughs> Woo, boy, David said, hmm, hold up. Said his ass lifted up his heel. What you mean, David? Done lifted up his heel against me. What you mean? Don't tell me they trying to put their foot on my neck. Don't, don't. Come on now, don't tell me that. Don't tell me they do, they do, where they do that at? Where they do that at, y'all? Don't tell me they doing it like that. They put them lifted up the heel? Mm, mm. Okay, then. Mm. Let me grab another scripture to show y'all. I'm talking about so-called friends. I'm going to show you in scriptures now how they had to deal with it, too. You ain't the only one that's done had to deal with it. I'm not the only one that's done had to deal with it. I'm telling you now, you you know, that's the thing that gets me about so-called friends. The ones that, you know, it, it was A and B when y'all conversated, but then all of a sudden something happened and now it's C and D. You know, they done done switched up the game. So uh, Judges chapter 16, Judges chapter 16, and uh, this here is talking about Samson and Delilah. Y'all know what happened in that situation. He he thought she was cool, right? He thought she was okay, right? Okay, Judges chapter 16 and verse 18, it says, when Delilah saw that he had told her all, that was in his heart. Huh? When she, he he had revealed to her all that was in his heart, she waited right to a particular moment. Oh boy. He told her all that was in his heart. She sent, Lord have mercy, and called the lords of the Philistines. Oh boy, some would say Philistines, Philistine, whatever you want to. She called the lords, the head dogs of the Philistines. All right. It said, and she said, come up once more, for he has told me all that is in his heart. Now, I need y'all to really catch what this is saying. I'm talking about so-called friends. Notice the text said that she told them to come up once more. She said, because listen, see, when y'all first tried to get him, you couldn't get him. So then I had to work a little bit longer. I had to work a little bit harder. I had to have conversation with him a little little bit more, but now I got him. So this is what I want y'all to do. Come up again. Okay. I need y'all to show up again, which is an indicator that she was not ever with him from the beginning because she said, come up again. So that means she saw them when they came up the first time, these so-called friends. She knew there was a hit out on him the first time, these so-called friends, but she said, come on, come on up, come on up again. I'm trying to tell y'all, listen, I'm Tell you, I know you've been burned because I've been burned before. I know you have. Check it out. Them so called friends. Check it out now. She tells them, Come up now. Says, Listen, she says, Come up. This is Judges chapter 16 and verse 18. She says, Come up once more, for he has told me all that's in his heart. He don't reveal everything to me. Ooh. 
Woo! Listen here, ain't nothing like having a private conversation with somebody that you and them, you, 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 you thought, let's just say not them, you thought they were cool, you thought they were your friend, and all of a sudden, you find out that what they said to you, they've now taken to someone else. Oh, God, Delphine, why, 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 why? You, you, you find out that they've taken it now somewhere else. And again, let me go back to what I told you. Not only did they take it somewhere, but they done took it from A to B to now is C and D. They done switched the script up on it. Oh, I done told y'all we talking about these so-called friends. How many of us have them? Oh boy. She says, come here. He's told me all that's in his heart. Then the lords of the Philistines came up to her. Eh? Y'all better see what this is saying. It says the Lord of the Philistines, the enemies, which is who she was with anyway. Listen, I just want to interject. This is from my heart uh, to your heart. This is what I want to interject. If something like that can happen with a person, them people were not ever with you uh, from the beginning. That's not something uh, that comes out of someone that was really with you. Uh, uh -uh. Uh, no, that's not something uh, that comes out of something that was somebody that was really with you. No, 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 no. They was a full time fake and a fraud from the beginning in order for something like that to happen. Uh, Pastor Lee, what you talking about? I come on, I'm gonna back this thing up and show you. I what I'm talking about. Check out what it says. It says here, Judges 16 and 18. Check out what it says. It says, when Delilah saw that he had told her all that was in his heart, she sent and called for the lords of the Philistines, saying, come up once more. See, she wasn't ever right. Her assignment from the beginning was to assassinate. Oh, baby. Her assignment from the beginning was to assassinate Samuel. So assassinate him, uh, Samson. It was to try to get rid of him. Why? Because of the favor that he had. Listen, I need to tell you something. Once you identify that there is favor, once you identify that the hand of the Lord is on your life, uh, you best to watch out for your damn feet. Till out. You best to watch out for them Delilahs, baby. You best to watch out like David said in Psalms 41. Uh, he says, it was my close friend and whom I I trusted. This is the thing that get me. David still called him a friend. Did y'all catch that? Because David was sincere. God, I tell think they were ready tonight. I should have went to sleep, said the Lord. <laughs> well, check this out. David still called him a friend because he was loyal. Oh, he was loyal. The other chick or the other fella was not loyal. David said, Psalms 41 and 9, jot them down so you can look at them. It says, even my close friend, I'm loyal to the friendship. I'm rocking with them. Straight loyal, right up down. I ain't switched up none, baby. This is what David said. I say, hey, I said I took it serious. You didn't take it serious. He says, my friend did this to me. That's who did it to me. Friendly fire, baby. Y'all know about friendly fire. Friendly fire, but all friendly fire is not really friendly fire. Uh, this chick here, Delilah, was not friendly fire. She had already had an issue and was already on assignment to try to destroy this man's life. God help me, please. Try to assassinate this man's purpose because of who he was and what he had the ability to be able to do. I'm trying to tell you about so-called friends, y'all. I'm trying to tell you once you identify who you are, once you get at least a little bit of inclination about who you are and what you have the capability to be able to do and to to see that the grace of God is on your life to be able to do it. I'm talking about the grace of God, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the supernatural power of God, which gives you the ability to do some things that you could not do uh, naturally or normally. Once you identify that, you need to automatically know uh, that there's going to be some hits that's going to come. You got to know now there's going to be some assassins that's going to come. Some are going to look the part, baby. 
Some of them are going to look like they right with you. Some of them are going to play the role so good. Yes, they are. Some of them are going to let you lay down or lie your head in their lap. Because.